Okay. Let's talk a little bit about uh, a story that we told folks about last week where in a uh, uh, school district in Virginia, this outfit called Kid Pan Alley came in and they were supposed to just help the kids write a song. As it turns out, the song they wrote was all about the Occupy Wall Street thing and, you know, the, the kids are on the side of the 99. Here's, here's a portion of the lyrics. I used to be one of the one percent i worked all the time never saw my family couldn't make life rhyme then the burble, uh, bubble burst it really really hurt i lost my money lost my pride lost my home now i'm part of the 99. when we told the story last week the school board was standing by the fact that that was actually written by third graders it, and we said no that couldn't possibly be true and as it turns out right. uh, kid pan alley has apologized they did write the lyrics that's right. What a shock. And so, and, and so you connect that to New Hampshire, and you wonder why parents are objecting to what is going on in the schools. Uh, I mean, it just, it, it's incredible that uh, finally this organization would come out and say, look, it, we, we wrote the lyrics. Um, it won't happen again, uh, but we'll have to wait and see because school districts will continue to bring this organization into their classrooms. And so parents need to be vigilant. And again, going back to New Hampshire, if they don't like what's going on, uh, they need to stand up, object, and do something about it. All right. And, and as you have said, and I know it's the title of your book, Indoctrination, and even as seemingly as simple as a little song is with third graders, you feel it is planting that seed in those young minds. Absolutely. It, it's planting that seed. Um, it's getting them comfortable with those terms like the 99% and the right. 1%. Um, and so parents have to be vigilant. All right. Uh, Kyle Olson. Joining us today from a snowy Michigan. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to step aside straight ahead. Former Republican presidential candidate Fred Thompson talks to us about his run in 2008 and offers up some advice for the GOP candidates as they prepare to win over South Carolina. Meanwhile, on this date back in 1980,